Hi, I'm Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts, and I'm doing a couple of uh, videos on the uh, Carter BBS carburetor, and uh, this is a one-barrel carburetor, by the way. And uh, anyhow, uh, <clears throat> I already put the throttle body together, and as you can see, I took it all apart and uh, buffed it out, put new screws in it. Uh, it's up to you whether you take yours apart or not. I like to make sure they're all all clean. And uh, if you do, uh, grind the back of your screws before you take them out and uh, be gentle or you're going to end up having to drill and tap. Anyhow, that's what it looks like together. Now we can't uh, assemble it to the uh, float bowl yet because the screws go through the the top the float bowl and into the throttle body. So next we're going to put the uh, float bowl together and I've already put the uh, check ball that goes in here. Uh, I believe that this one has a couple of check balls and they're both the same size so it doesn't matter which one you put in the hole. Anyhow the check balls in there and the check ball retainer I put in already and um, let's see if I can find the old one so you know what it looks like. Uh, this is it right here and it just sets over the check ball uh, and uh, as the name implies it retains the check ball. You just put it down in there and uh, um, I had to uh, stake the side in a couple of small places just to make sure it stays down there um, and that's simple as that. Now next we'll put in the main jet and uh, that's this one right here. Uh, keep in mind that uh, some of these jets use a gasket and some don't and uh, this one here uh, should not have a gasket on it wait a minute stand corrected this one will have a gasket okay and it goes right down in there of course be careful with your uh, jet. Uh, they, these, uh, as far as I know, you can't buy them anymore. Now, the main thing on your jets is that the hole doesn't get uh, get to be a problem as far as it uh, getting scuffed up out here. It isn't going to make any difference. Okay. <clears throat> now use a screwdriver with a wide enough blade to to reach across it so you don't damage it. Okay, so there's a main jet. Next thing we're going to put in is the uh, step-up piston assembly, and it has a little spring, on, or excuse me, a little. Uh, um, it's not exactly a metering rod, but that's kind of what it is, and uh, it goes in here like a so, just like that, and uh, the uh, little rod fits right down into the main jet. But before we do that, we have a small O-ring gasket goes down in here. Now, uh, in this particular kit, you got a fiber gasket and you got a little rubber one. You put the rubber one down in there, and it just fits down uh, <clears throat> into the bottom of the hole. Yeah, when you look in the hole, you'll see kind of a ridge down there. Okay, I'm going to put a little silicon spray lubricant in there so the uh, thing moves freely. That's one thing you want to do. I buff this out. Be careful you don't bend your uh, rod. And uh, 
you want it to slide up and down in there uh, easily. Now there's a spring that goes in there next. This one right here. Just like so. And then you put your little step up piston in there. And uh, get your rod into the main jet. There we go. And let's see. Uses this little uh, special little screw here, and uh, you can see the top how smooth. That's where the uh, step up uh, assembly moves up and down. Okay. And just make sure it moves easy and uh, that rod is uh, nice and straight. I don't believe you're going to be able to buy one so uh, don't damage it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to put in is um, uh, Where's my check ball? Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Alright. <clears throat> is the floats. I've already tested my floats and I have a video on how to test these uh, brass floats. Your needle and seat. Put your gasket on there. Be sure as nothing gets in your uh, seat. And incidentally, uh, I seem to have a lot of trouble with uh, Send out a rebuild or something to somebody and uh, they put it in the car and it starts flooding over. Well, they didn't clean out their fuel lines or their gas tank and, and the first thing to do, they, they gunk up the uh, the needle and seat and of course it leaks. Oops, forgot the needle, excuse me. Okay, I kind of got the cart before the horse here. Do a, when I'm doing a video, I'm trying to keep track of too many things at once, including the video. All right, no big deal. Okay, so there's your uh, float pin. It's down in there. Simple as that. Put your needle and seat in there. <clears throat> Tighten it down. And you don't have to over tighten these, just snug them up. You got a gasket on there, you don't want to rupture it. Uh, if it leaks, <clears throat> when you put it back on the car, loose and tight and loose and tight, and that helps uh, seat it. I found that to, to work pretty good. All right, so there you go, your float, like so. Um, now we got a float spring, retainer spring. Um, now I'm replacing uh, the old one with the new one. And I'll be making these available uh, with, uh, with this kit. And that goes in like so. I'll show you the old one here. See, it's kind of lost. It's, uh, it doesn't hold in there very well. So I like to put a new one in there. And once these are still available, I'm going to use them. Now. Um, okay, uh, be sure the retainer is uh, just pushed down on top of the float pin. Uh, you don't want it caught down there or anything, just, just, just to hold it down. When the top goes on, it'll put a little pressure on it. All right, the float bowl setting. Um, <clears throat> first of all, your uh, needle and seat will be in there. Uh, everything's ready. And what you're going to do is turn this upside down. You're going to measure uh, from the uh, lip of the bowl to the top of each float. And in this case, it's a quarter inch, but it kind of depends on your application. And uh, anyway, um, <clears throat> so uh, 
uh, we're going to measure from here to here. We're going to measure from here to here. We just want them both the same. Now, if uh, if you need to adjust it, you bend this tab right here. You can bend it down here a little bit uh, to keep it more straight, or bend it up here. Uh, uh, try not to bend it to where you're putting uh, any pressure on your needle and see it could da damage the uh, rubber part anyhow uh, and uh, your uh, as far as your floats being level you just uh, you can tweak it like this a little bit uh, anyway you want both sides the same put that back down in there oh, wait a minute let's see I was going to uh, in that back just a little I think I had a little level a little bit too high Let's see if that does it put my retainer in there you, just, you want your float where it's going to be so you want to hold you're going to hold it down with the retainer when you measure like so let's see I got a quarter inch on my stick here Make sure, yep. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Okay, I got my needle mixed up. Okay, so that's your uh, float setting. Uh, next, we're going to put in our main discharge. It goes in here. Um, I have to find my. Uh, here it is. little discharge ball or check ball goes right down in the hole down there and then this goes in here okay now uh, fortunately unlike some kits out there uh, we have a, a new um, clean out plug that goes in here like this and I'll do this offline but I usually put a little JB weld around it and yeah, we got two of them here uh, <clears throat> pretty sure they're the same size okay oops check ball fell out be sure that gets back in there anyway I just want to let you know where it goes all right so okay you can also uh, hit this with a hammer and your other one, which I take out to clean, uh, goes down in here, like so. It fits a little tighter. Anyway, uh, there's a little uh, like needle down in there. Don't try to take it out. Leave it alone. Just make sure it's clean. Uh, blow it out. You should get air from there up to up to these two little nozzles up here in your venturi and that's the name of that tune okay uh, so I'm gonna stop the video for a minute and get prepared and uh, go on to the next thing